Hey guys, everything new on the sun here. This is going to be a video about how to fix your iMac after you've uh, put an SSD into it uh, and the fan keeps spinning. It's a pretty simple fix, uh, but we're going to go through it, so stay tuned. So what I did in, in one of my previous videos, I think uh, maybe, oh, I forget when I posted that. Anyways, you'll see this video after that. Um, so I posted a video where I, I replaced my, I got a 2010 uh, iMac, 21-inch uh, iMac, I replaced the uh, hard drive, 3.5 inch hard drive with an SSD. And the correct way to uh, install it, uh, I just got a, a couple of images here. I think this is from uh, 9 to 5 Mac or something. The correct way to install it is uh, to put it in a drive sled and uh, put a little thermal sensor on it uh, because that, that's the wire going to the thermal sensor. These uh, solid state drives don't have the, uh, <coughs> the default input for the thermal sensor. So, um, if you don't have it in a dry sled and don't have a little thermal sensor, well, you have this extra little wire, if you can see that, um, that is hanging out going nowhere. And so you basically have to pull that out. And uh, what do you do with it? Now, the, I want to show you the inside. Uh, this is the inside of the iMac. So the hard drive goes right there, literally, and it screws into, there's a, a mounting screw there. And there's a mounting screw over here and the 3.5 inch drive fits right there but what i did was there, there's actually an aluminum metal mounting plate there and i just suspended the ssd from it so up the top this is the bottom of the uh, imac so when it's standing upright uh you know gravity's pulling down that way obviously so i just literally taped it because the ssd doesn't get too hot so i taped it to the metal mounting bar there and screwed that in it's just hanging so i don't have it in a in a <clears throat> proper uh, tray like uh, like this one uh, which is uh, you, you can do whatever you want I, I did whatever I wanted there so that's what I did um, <clears throat> here is a picture of it uh, right side up. this isn't mine again I, I took the image but here it is right side up and, and so I put the uh, SSD right there so actually when you're uh, when you're looking on screen here um, in my iMac the uh, SSD literally sits, now I'm just staring at the screen here. This is a 720p uh, video, so it's not quite the full screen that you're seeing. Um, but literally, quite literally, um, if I were to draw a box, this is actually where uh, the SSD sits uh, behind my screen. And that's about the size of it as well. So it just sits there. It doesn't create a lot of heat, heat so I don't really care about a thermal sensor on it. However, if you don't uh, plug in the thermal sensor, this little wire here, um, then the fans go 100% uh, basically because they think uh, they don't know what else to think they, they're not getting any temperature uh, sensing back from the hard drive so they go 100% now as any uh, air brackets a uh, good uh, computer repair a plus certified person would do now I don't, don't do that for my full-time business so I'm just joking here uh, but I always come away from projects with extra pieces because I like to uh, mod my stuff and make it lighter you know because everything runs better when it's a little bit lighter especially IMAX that sit on desks and don't move anywhere so the fact that I have extra pieces and extra screws that I didn't put back in is is bonus for me that's a bit of a joke so <clears throat> what do you do well I have, and uh, I'm going to move the window up here, and so you should, I uh, hope you can see, maybe you can't see it. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. Um, basically what I have is a TG uh, Pro, which is a fan uh, fan software, so I can manually control the fans. So all you do, uh, and again, I hope you can see the top there, all you do is uh, install the TG Pro, and let me pull up the app actually while I'm at it. TG, TG Pro. Please stand by. Of course, I can't find it. How about I use a spotlight? That always works. TG, TG Pro. There it is. So I hit enter on that. And so this is the software I, I, I bought it. I believe it's on the App Store. It's like five bucks or four ninety nine, whatever it is. It's not uh, too expensive. And. <clears throat> You open up preferences. Okay, this is the TG Pro preferences. So you can go in here and um, you know set up your Celsius, Fahrenheit, and your notifications if it goes over a certain temperature. Yada yada yada. Logging uh, updates. Um, but you have this option of um, auto boost. Uh, so if the thermal sensor was still in there, 
you could tell it to uh, boost up to you know 100% if temperature goes over 80 degrees Celsius or something crazy like that. Um, but instead, what you do is just check the box enable and put in full manual mode. And uh, by doing that, then uh, what you can do is uh, actually turn it down. So when this uh, software is fired up, um, it's uh, turned down. So I can I can zoom this uh, slider up and down. It moves them all, and that actually increases and decreases the fan speed manually. Now the downside is that uh, it doesn't increase and down speed and de uh, decrease. Uh, based on what you're doing or based on actual uh, temperatures. Although I never have uh, issues, I, I can never really see an issue with the SSD. It doesn't create a lot of heat. You can see the crucial SSD, it's sitting at 33 degrees. So I don't even know where it's uh, getting that to be, <coughs> to be honest, unless there's a, uh, a SATA sensor, because uh, it's just the power and the, and the SATA connector that's on the SSD. Um, but so I, that, mysteriously, I don't know where that's coming from. Um, maybe you more techies, not more knowledgeable than I know where that's coming from. Regardless, um, the fan is blowing through uh, the uh, hard drive box in, in the center there. So there's a cavity there about that big where the fan does blow through. Uh, but all I do is uh, just put it in manual and just put it at about 2000. And 2000 seems about right for me. Um, and it keeps the temperatures um, of my CPU down. It's up at 40 right now, uh, 38 degrees. Um, which uh, you know is a little high, but I, I'm doing some rendering of video right now and some uploading. Um, but what I can do, I can just crank it up manually uh, when I do that. So uh, I just turn this up a little bit, and uh, and the fan spins up to uh, yeah 2200 RPM. Uh, you can see it there. Uh, I hope you can see it there on the top, which shows 2200 RPM. And uh, about 2000 2200 RPM works fine for me to run it like that all the time. That's a good level where it's not real audible, so uh, you can hear it, but it's uh, very quiet, so it doesn't bother uh, you at all. Um, so that is one easy way to get around the 100% fan uh, issue when you install an SSD in your iMac. And uh, believe you me, the SSD does really uh, improve performance of, like, the boot is quick. Everything's nice and snappy. Apps load like that. Um, it's just a real nice, uh, real nice thing. And like I say, this, this app, I think it's on the App Store, or just uh, search TG Space Pro. You'll find it. Just put it in full manual mode, and, uh, and then you can uh, turn the fans up and down. And like I say, for my 2010 iMac, I just leave it at, you know, about 2,000. If I see the temperature getting up there, I'll uh, raise it up to, to 25. Probably in the summer, I'll have to have it up at 20, 22, 2,500. Um, but in the winter here, where it's fairly cool, you know, 18 degrees in my office, or, or you know 20 uh, then about 2000 rpm is fine so uh, I just want to put it out there um, if anybody has these issues uh, I googled it quickly um, I knew I had fan control software anyways because I had that from my uh, old 2008 uh, MacBook Pro uh, which had uh, common issues with the motherboard overheating um, and so I had it already from that um, but you know even if it's ten dollars whatever the price is I forget um, it's a real simple way to get over the fan thing, and you don't need that. The SSD is not going to get very hot as it is. So just keep the fan up at around uh, 2000, and you'll be fine. So I hope you found it useful. Please subscribe, guys, if you haven't, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.